When I'm on an expedition, there's no time for any of this. People do what I say or they die to death. <laughs> so take a guess why I haven't responded to any of your pitches for a feature article. You don't know how to check email. <laughs> You're a decent writer, but look what you're writing about. Last week, you interviewed Andreas Jansen, the premier free diver in the world. And what was your question? Which Gilmore girl are you? <laughs> you said Lauren Graham. That's crazy. <laughs> then the next article you followed that up with, I gave a pig a cantaloupe. You'll never guess what happened. Let me guess. He ate he it. He ate it. <laughs> hey, listen, those get us a lot of hits. Because they're clickbait. OK, I have written at least 10 articles that are not clickbait. You'll never guess what number four was. Look, <laughs> it's great that you can write stuff that generates hits, but real articles have substance. And you'll never get a feature until you understand that. OK, now, what issue of yours could we move on to next? Your horrible grammar, journal etiquette, or should we just go straight to the unfixables? Cut. Do you really think my urinal etiquette's fixable? You don't have to pull your pants all the way down. <laughs> ah, hey, you two. Who's up for a fun assignment? You had me at fun and lost me at assignment. <laughs> I was hoping to get some help in selecting the new intern. The priority, of course, being diversity. <laughs> And you're asking us because... Because... I think she asked you because you're black and Asian. No, that's not what I said. Don't put words into my mouth, Zeb. I actually don't see color. Whoa. I only see color? Whoa. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I just... <sighs> Guys. Guys? Oh, brother. Brother? <laughs> Someone please describe Brooke's face to me right now. What did I ever do to you, Zeb? Uh, make me live in a tent for 30 days. Brooke, relax. We're just messing with you. It's actually kind of cool what you're trying to do here. OK, thank you, Mason. Oh, and for the record, I only asked you two to help with the diversity hire because you were the first two people I saw. Oh, so you were looking for white people but then settled for them? Not what I said! <laughs> What's up? What's up? Do you think with the last two people still doing that? Definitely. <laughs> you look happy. Yeah, I just gave Clark a classic performance review, like the ones that Roland used to give me. Those are the only times I ever saw you cry. <laughs> Better when you lost your pet tortoise. Gary Turtlepants is not lost. <laughs> he is out there somewhere trying to get home. And he is scared. <laughs> I know he is, but I bet you he's really proud of how you're adjusting to your new job. Mm -hmm. Remember these things? Excuse me. Eddie's. OK, he's here. Yeah, I'll send him back. That was your office. HR is looking for you. Are you in trouble? Well, since they need to find me in a bar in the middle of the workday, I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Gordon. Uh, is this where I play where my mom and dad use the gym? <laughs> Our younger workforce prefers a safe space. We're all adjusting. For instance, I realized I can no longer wear a skirt. <laughs> <clears throat> this is about your recent performance review of Clark. Hi, what are you in for, excessive hotness? I'm Clark's mom. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. My son played me the video of his performance review. Clark showed his mom his performance review? Clark brought his mom into work? Clark's mom is hot? What is happening? <laughs> No one speaks to my son the way you did. Oh, yeah, they do. Did you see the footage? <laughs> Growing up, Clark had 10 heroes. You'll never guess who number three was. Oh, my God, you are Clark's mom. And I had to build him up a lot just to get him to try out for soccer or write for the school paper or believe he was tall enough to enter the pageant circuit. Mm. What was his talent? Sweating? 